Hello, this is Will Hallam from ServiceNow. And today we're going to talk about LightStep and ServiceNow event management. So LightStep, a recently acquired ServiceNow company, provides detailed insights into microservice-based cloud-native applications. We also provide the native ability to ingest events sent from LightStep with the ServiceNow event management module. And the reason that this is valuable and important is because ServiceNow event management can pull together events from disparate sources. So the insights provided by LightStep are augmented by data from more traditional monitoring and or application performance management systems. ServiceNow automatically coalesces these together in a single view. And what this does is it accelerates root cause identification and reduces mean time to repair. Now let's get into the demonstration. First, a brief tour of my test setup. What you're looking at right now is my example LightStep project in which I've defined an alert which will send an event indicating a critical condition into ServiceNow when the error rate is above 2%. Over here is a script which uses open telemetry calls to send open telemetry data into LightStep. And I've given it two routes, one which will perform a successful operation, and then one which will perform a, a failed operation, allowing me to then simulate successful and errored transactions within my example application. Then on the ServiceNow side, what I've done is defined a tag-based application service, which consists of some Azure functions and Kubernetes pods. And if we look at that service, there's a service map, which shows the components which make up the service. And you can see that the service itself is in a, a green state. And all the components in the service map show operational. So to simulate uh, an error condition, I've created a script which will send a combination of successful and erroneous transactions into my test application. It's a for loop that hits the uh, successful and the erroneous URLs multiple times every second. And then I've defined example events, which will simulate error conditions within the Azure function and the Kubernetes pod. So in a real life scenario, these would be coming from one or more traditional monitoring platforms, which are keeping track of 
what's going on within Kubernetes clusters and a, an Azure cloud account. So the way I kick off my test scenario is first I start up my example web service. And then I start generating transactions and you can see it's very verbose when it hits that error condition. And this is the output from the example application, again, showing error, a stack dump whenever it's hitting error. And it's collecting the, both the erroneous and the successful transactions generating open telemetry data and sending it into Lightstep. Now I'll simulate alerts coming in from the separate monitoring systems by toggling these simulation events into a ready state. And then if we look at the event management event list, we can see that the Azure event and the Kubernetes event I've already generated alerts. And based on the content of the event, map them to the corresponding configuration items. Then within this alert, you can also see it's already correlating it to my tag-based service. And now if I go to the operator workspace, I can see that my service has now turned red. Looking at the service map, I can see it's highlighted the Azure function, which has indicated an error, the Kubernetes pod, which has indicated an error, and then it's rolling those up to the service. The way the light step event management integration works is it ties it to a service. And so the light step event, if only the light step event came in, it would just flag the service as having a, a critical or, or warning or whatever the severity was. The additional event sources and the ability of service now to automatically correlate those is what produces the kind of subordinate um, highlighting of the specific components, which are also in a non-okay state. So if I refresh the page, I can now see that the related alerts have been correlated and all tied back to the service. This can provide a, a real head start on mean time to repair because it's collecting all of the issues from disparate sources and putting them in one view. You can also see that from the service map by selecting show related items over on the right here. And 
And then you can drill into each one by clicking this icon. This concludes the demonstration. I will include a link to a companion community article about this subject, which also includes the little snippets of code that I used to simulate the web service and, and generate a load on it in that, uh, in that article. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.